Imagine that you want to communicate with somebody to ask information about some political crisis going on and you're trying to get the information that's critical to keep you and your family safe, but you have no means of accessing the news. You can't read about it, you can't ask your questions because all that information is a language that you don't know. What if you spoke a language that had no utility online whatsoever, that you could not access critical information that meant the difference of your, your children getting the medical treatment that they needed? Imagine that you, got, uh, you just got a job in a new factory that just came to your community and all the information about how to operate the machinery safely. If it's not the language that you understand the best, there's potential safety risks and, and you won't be able to be as effective in, in your job. What if the language that you spoke was a barrier to you accessing life-saving information? That's the case for thousands of languages around the world right now. Language technology provides you the opportunity to access that critical information in a language that you best understand. I'm Dr. Daniel Wilson, and I lead the Language Technology Initiative for ILAD, and I'm the Executive Director of XRI, which is a research institute that brings together academia and innovation with the development sector. If you could imagine all the content that exists online as an information superhighway, as a, as a superhighway that is filled with the collective intelligence of humanity. Human language technology is the on-ramp to access the information. Every single day, more and more information that's helping people around the world in medicine, in business, in technology, communication with other people that have really good ideas, the opportunity to read about ways to fight diseases. All of this is information that exists in digital spaces online and until you have a means to access that technology, you're missing out on those ideas. So if you have technology in your language, you can learn from, access, and add your voice to all the digital content that exists. So let's break this down. We first build a foundation by creating keyboards for their languages. Also predictive text, spell check, autocorrect. These are things iLAD is already having great success in. With that foundation, we can now add the next layer, which is machine translation. Think Google Translate, that sort of thing. ILAD is working in that space right now. And on top of that, the possibilities are endless because now their on-ramp to the information superhighway has connected them to the rest of the world. And so what language technology is doing is uh, making sure that these communities, low resource communities, have the same opportunities that you and I have every single day without even thinking about it. It's the spark that's needed. It's the small idea that begins with just introducing people into this space that then can catapult a whole community into engaging with the global marketplace. Accessing educational material that's out there and readily available. It's just, we need that layer of interpretation to exist for them to be able to access that information. To access global education information, global markets, that's what we're building at ILAD, and that's what's going to help lift these communities out of poverty. If ILAD can build these on-ramps to this information superhighway, this means millions of people headed towards human flourishing, opportunity, innovation for the good of their families and their communities.